Oh, sorry. Yeah, just walking up. Um, we will never, ever get them 95 minutes ever again, people. Wow. That was horrible. That was horrible. First and foremost, yeah, Arsenal, very, very good point. I just want to mention that first and foremost before everyone keeps talking about, oh, Saeed, why do you care? Why do we care? It's a good point. No, no, I will say to you, it's a very good point. But as a neutral, as a football purist, as someone who loves the game, as someone who watches the Premier League, as someone who has watched title races before, as someone who wanted this game to be a spectacle, it was absolutely boring. Yeah. Boring. No risk taking. No one wanted to go for it. It was so boring. Arsenal did what they had to do. But Man City, I mean, it's, you know what, yeah? I've always said it for me, yeah? It's, it's boring enough with Man City playing week in, week out, yeah? It's boring enough. It is boring enough. But I tell you what, yeah? It just didn't add to the spectacle at all. Doku when he came on, awful. Jack Grealish didn't offer anything. Haaland, let me tell you something. Here. Haaland is a very, very good striker here. Yeah. But Ballon d'Or and all this and that, man. Nah, man. Miss me with that, man. You're not playing real Ferdinand's and the likes of them guys. And then today, just all over the place. All over the place, man. Haaland. Come on. De Bruyne. Again, non-existent. Should have been off. Phil Foden got subbed off, yeah? Why wasn't De Bruyne? Phil Foden, by the way, again on the left-hand side. What is he going to do for you? Wasted. What does Guardiola think? Wasted on that left-hand side. Donkey, when he came on again, <laughs> less, less to said the better. But just the overall game, the mechanics of the game, it was so... It was honestly, man, if you paid money for that, man, probably fair play. If you travel for that, Fair play to you, but that was not a spectacle. That was not a title race. And it just begs the question, you know, imagine Klopp is leaving now and you've got these two going neck and neck for a title race. As a neutral, I'm talking about, you've got the apprentice versus the master. It feels like to me, man, I'm sorry, yeah, but brown envelopes, mate, you know what I mean? These guys must have tactically planned something over the phone said, yo, Let's just take a draw. <laughs> Let's just take a draw and everyone goes home happy. We can have our paella and that and we go home happy. That's what I'm seriously. <laughs> Genuinely, man, fair play to Arsenal. They've come out of there. Their substitutions made sense. Their substitutions made sense. Tomiyasu and Partey came off a of Kivio and Jorginho. The game plan was still the same. The game plan, carry on what you're doing, carry the momentum. Then they tried to go for it a little bit with Trossard and Martinelli. But Overall, there was no risk element. I don't think Arsenal had a, a shot on target in the second half. I, I'm, I'm struggling, honestly, to even mention you the the the, the, the kind of the, the games and whatnot. Like generally, guys, it was an awful, awful game. Let me just tell you the stats in that game for you right now. Yeah, twelve shots to six, one shot on target from Manchester City. Manchester City at home. One shot on time. No, no, not only does that show that City had a massively off day, but from credit to Arsenal again, that defense was absolutely resilient today. Saliba and, and, and Gabriel, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. 20 per 10 possession for uh, Man uh, Arsenal. S um, Man City had 73 percent possession. I mean, it just didn't work, man. It didn't work. Jesus on the left didn't work. Um, isolated Havertz a lot, a lot of the time. You know what I mean? But the midfield battle, I thought Decker Rice off the ball was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Outstanding off the ball. But on the ball, not great at all. I mean, yeah, man, it just wasn't great in that regards in terms of, you know, just the whole spectacle. It wasn't great, man. You know what I mean? You're talking about a box office Premier League game. I've just watched Liverpool win the game, yeah? And I don't know why I did the watch along, by the way. But now they're top of the league. And you know what? They're playing good football as well. But that that kind of game there, Liverpool and Man City, it would have been a good spectacle at least. But Arsenal, they'll go away with the happier. Absolutely, man. You know what I mean? Listen, I said it in a draw. A lot of people said, would you take a draw before the game? A lot of Arsenal fans said no. 
But now, considering all things of what happened, a draw is not a bad result at all. At all. It's not a bad result at all, man. You know what I mean? They go away unscathed. The Premier League right now, as it stands... Um, Liverpool are top of the league with 67 points Arsenal just two points behind them and then Man City on 64 Man City have got Aston Villa as well on Wednesday so that'll be a tricky game Villa, Arsenal got looting should be an easy three points Liverpool of Sheffield should be an easy three points in that regard but I'm just trying to come to terms with that game on people that's why I'm a bit like yo like the, the game tactically people were talking about chess and all that but Come on, man. The only thing that chess was probably our chess hurting, man, watching that, mate. You know what I mean? Because it was like, it was just non-existent in terms of the speed and the tempo. It wasn't there. There was no speed. There was no tempo. It was non-existent. We were just back and forth and just people giving the ball away. The, the lack of, for me, like even personnel, like, you know, lack of ideas. Sako. I mean, Sako. Seriously. Saka was horrendous today. Someone put the stats up of Saka today, yeah? And I'm going to bring it up to you. He was not fit at all, man. He was never in a million years he was fit. Zero goals, zero assists, zero shots, zero chance screen, zero successful dribbles, zero accurate shots, zero passes in the final third. Wow. Wow. Phil Foden was similar, by the way. He'll get, he'll get the same heat. He'll get the same heat. But the impact, the substitution's impact didn't work for Man City as well. When they came on, nothing. You know what I mean? No clear-cut chances for Man City. No really clear-cut chances for Arsenal. In the first half, was was really bad. I thought the second half, first 10, 15 minutes, I thought to myself, it could get a little bit better here. You know what I mean? And, it, you know, things might open up, but it never really did. It never really did. Let's be honest with you guys. It never really did. And it just kept continuing and continuing and continuing. And like I said, bro, you know, it's it's one of them where <laughs> no, how you like? I've I've managed to squeeze eight minutes out of this year, but there'll be people doing proper proper debriefs, proper situations, and you can't be analysing that, man. What are you analysing for? What are you seriously analysing that game for? Because I I, I don't see anything to analyse. <laughs> I don't see it. I really don't. I really really don't see anything to analyse about that game. It was horrendous, man. It was awful. There was nothing about that game. Nothing. It was genuinely, genuinely a very boring, boring game. And that's about it. And Arsenal, good luck. Three points. Easy. Take that away and you move ahead. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Arsenal fans, chat to me. You happy with that? You know what I mean? Or are you disappointed in the way he approached it? You could have went for it for the goal for the for the for the winner. Who knows, guys? So let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon, guys. Take care, bye. Peace.